A government cannot be judge and jury over its own conduct. There has to be an independent element to that investigation. Overnight, Mr Speaker, further allegations have emerged that the Home Secretary repeatedly harassed and humiliated her private secretary while she ran the Department for International Development. If this is true, this suggests a shocking and unacceptable pattern of behaviour across three government departments. On each occasion, tens of thousands of pounds of hard-earned taxpayers' money has been spaffed up the wall to buy their silence. Was the Prime Minister aware of these allegations? And if he was, why did he appoint her? Mr Speaker, I, I really repeat the point I just made. The Home Secretary is doing an outstanding job. I have every, I have every confidence in her. Uh, if, if there are allegations, of course it is right that they should be properly investigated by the Cabinet Office, and that is what is happening. But I take no lessons about bullying, Mr Speaker, from the leader, leader of a party uh, where female MPs were bullied so badly in the matter of anti-Semitism, they actually left the party, and where, and where the Shadow Chancellor has still not apologised for his call for a member of our party to be lynched. Jeremy Corbyn! The Prime Minister... Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister said, if there are allegations... Is he completely unaware of all the allegations that have been made over the last few days? Is he completely unaware of the resignation of a permanent secretary because of his treatment by the Home Secretary? Mr Speaker, we have a part-time Prime Minister who barely turns up but is determined to cover up for bullies in his government. There can't be one rule for workers across this country and another one for him and his ministers. When his Home Secretary has been accused of repeated bullying and harassment, leading to hard-working staff attempting suicide by overdose, he gave her his full support. How can the people of this country have faith in a Prime Minister who can't be bothered to turn up and, when he does, has no shame in defending bullying in his own government. Uh, well, Mr. Speaker, that is the, the question from a, a, uh, a full-time neo-Marxist who's, <laughs> who's, who's, who's failed to stamp out bullying in his own party. And actually, I'm, I'm very proud, as I say, of the record uh, of this government just over the last 82 days. Uh, we've uh, taken back control of our borders, our laws, and our money. We've got Brexit done.